Hey guys, I want to show you how to use the one point perspective tool in uh, Sketchbook. It's probably way better than Photoshop in essence, but uh, it takes getting used to. So over here you have your perspective grid tool. So I like to use, well, we're going to start with one point perspective. And as I already talked about, typically if it was a, you know, it's hard to say, but usually lower third perspective. So somewhere down here where your one point perspective starts is the best. You see where this dot is? That's the center. But for now, we're going to keep in the middle and we're doing a create your own table. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll actually put it in the middle. When you're doing your painting, you probably want to be lower down here. So I don't know if you noticed, but when I scroll over it, you see how this... So I could draw a straight line down, but as you can see, there's like this other little line, so I could go like this, okay? So our goal is to create a table, um, and unlike in Photoshop where you have to draw the grid in here, you can kind of like, wherever this is, is where the table starts, and I'm going to draw this way, and then I'm going to go over here and draw it this way, so it automatically knows where my one point perspective is and it's in the center. So here I need to be a little careful and I may have to use the eraser tool if I miss. And usually though what I do is this is a two layer process. So I would go to windows, go get my layer editor and you know this is going to be my rough draft. So I'm going to go down here now and I'm going to draw the table and then if I drag this way so I don't need to do the shift trick doesn't really work and then I'm going to draw the table and it just knows so if I go I go this way a little bit a little too much control Z is your friend so this way and then a little bit this way and I'll go up and probably obviously I need another one here so you might want to take a little more time that I'm doing and just finish your table off. So when you're done, again, I recommend you turn off the background and maybe you want to use your paint bucket tool and color it in. Now, as you can see, I probably missed some lines, so you, you'll want to uh, fix that for yours. But when you're done, you file, save as um, PNG, okay? So I'm done with, I'm not actually done, but you know what I mean. There you go. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to create a two point perspective. Okay. So let's uh, go get this tool. Let's turn it on. So we had two point perspective. So here it is. Now, like I mentioned, often this is a little too narrow. Now you could technically, oops, you could move it down, but I don't want you to do that. Uh, you know, and this is like a sidewalk and you're basically standing right over here somewhere. And this is the building. And you can go in the middle here. And anything over this line goes this way. I don't know if you can see that. And anything under this line goes that way. So that's kind of the, how the, that works for uh, two-point perspective. So now if I was going to draw like a window. And you see the line. It... it That one is not, a, this line is wrong, so I'm going to fix that, because it should be going like this, okay? And you got to keep your eyes open on that. You may want to use the ruler tool, and, you know, this is to make sure that you don't, or you can use the eraser tool, whatever you find easier, really. I probably would use the eraser, just to show you how that works, and then you can draw it right along there, it will be perfect. So you line it up first. I don't really like the ruler tool, but some people like it. So I thought, go back to the, here, back on your two-point perspective. Little Z, there's a little error there. So this is your rough layer, okay? And then we're going to go this way. And I'll just eyeball it, because it's a rough draft anyways. And you just keep going like this, all right? And as you can see, it kind of follows that line. This is where you might want to use the ruler tool. If you see, I'm a little bit off here. So if I had the ruler tool, I could maybe make sure that I'm on the right line. Whoops. Control Z. I'm going to go over here. And just make sure that I'm wherever the vanishing point is. And if I can't see it, you see, I kind of missed it there. I'm a little bit off. So you want to make sure that doesn't happen. 
Okay, but before, let's go back all the way to the beginning. So I'm going to go back here. One thing you need to do is zoom out. Normally, the perspective is off the grid, okay? So let's close this, and I'm actually just going to use the space bar and move this over, and I'll use the two-point perspective. But most perspective drawings that, you know, where you're standing over here, the perspective points are off to the side. So, you know, I'm going to draw this here, and the building over here, and then, you know, again, this is a rough draft. So maybe you're like this, and, you know, if you go and get your character, it's going to be on the corner here. So I'm going to create a door, and you see it's on an angle, but the wrong one. So is anything over the top should be going this way. Especially if you keep drawing and you add a tape, you add a window. See, it'll look pretty bad if I did that. So you need to, if you go down here, 